Uh, all right, this is Mr. Barr, and we're going to talk about equations because this is algebra. The idea of the equation, when you think of equations, one way to think of it is as a scale or a balance beam. And I can look at this equation right here, 7 equals n plus 4, the equal sign would be right in the middle of that balance beam. Let's bring it down here. And I have seven units over here. These are just ones. So I have, what's seven? One plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one. Plus one, plus one, plus one. Is that six? Let's put one. So imagine those are little blocks. I have seven little blocks over here. I have this n plus I have four little blocks. This is the equation. I have seven blocks, I have an n, and I have four blocks. And I have to keep the teeter-totter in balance. So let's take a block off. If I take a block off of here, I have to take a block off of here. If I take a block off of here, I have to take a block off of here. It's still going to be in balance. If I take a block off of here, well, now it would do this, wouldn't it? Oh, so I better take a block off of here. Oh, and now it's back in balance. One more block. One more block. And I'm left with 3 equals n, or n equals 3. And the goal is to get this down where I have the variable equals a single number. That's the idea of the equation. Now, there are a couple of quick ways we can do this without these teeter-totters. This was an n equals 3. Here's what we need to know. Who is the variable in an equation? Well, in the one we just did, the variable is n. Who is bugging it? Well, in this equation, it's n plus 4. This 4 is trying to bug it. The 4 is trying to do something to that n. What is it trying to do? That 4, what's he doing to the n? Is he trying to multiply the n? Is he trying to divide the n? What is he trying to do to the n? Well, he's trying to add to the n. What is he doing? He's trying to add. How do you fight addition? Well, I'm going to fight everything with the opposite. How do you fight fire with water? Those are kind of the opposites, correct? How do I fight addition? I'm going to fight it with subtraction. And my final thing, what do I want to do? I would like to subtract the number 4 from both sides. Remember, I make mistakes. I make mistakes. One and done. I'm not going to redo this video. So let's, re let's think about the fights. How do I fight things? If I add, adding fights what? Add to fight subtraction. Subtract to fight addition. Divide to fight multiplication. And multiply to fight division. So let's come back to this, the one that we just worked on. See if I can get this up here. We just did 7 equals n plus 4. Who is the variable? Well, the variable is n. Who's bugging the variable? Well, 4 is bugging the variable. 7's all the way on the other side of this street. Imagine this is the street. 7's all the way over here. 7 isn't bugging n. Well, what is that 4 trying to do? It's trying to add. How do I fight addition? With subtraction. I need to subtract 4 from both sides. Minus 4, minus 4. 7 minus 4 is 3 equals n. That is the math. Let's try another one. Oh, you know what? Before we go on, let's see. Does it work? Does 3 work? If I take that 3 and put it right there, Will the equation work? 
Is 3 plus 4 the same as 7? Yes, it equals 7. It does work. We can check every answer. Here we go. Here's our next one. Let's get a little bit bigger on that. 4 equals t divided by 4. Who is the variable? The variable is t. Who is bugging the t? This 4 is bugging the t. What is the 4 trying to do? The 4 is trying to divide the t. How do I fight division? I fight division with multiplication. What would I like to do? I would like to multiply both sides by 4. 4, 4. These guys cancel. 16. T equals 16. Does that work? Let's plug it in. What is 16 divided by 4? 16 divided by 4 is 4. It works. Here's a new one. Solve for h. 1.31 equals h minus 3.61. Who is the variable? h. Who is bugging h? 3.61. What is 3.61 trying to do? He is trying to subtract. How do I fight subtraction? With addition. I, what would I like to do? I would like to add 3.61 or 3.61 to both sides. Plus. H equals 4.92. If I plug it back in, it will work. And our final one, solve for C. 4C equals negative 40. Who is my variable? C is my variable. Who is bugging C? 4 is bugging C. I'm bugging you, I'm bugging you. What is 4 trying to do? 4 is trying to multiply C. How do I fight multiplication? With division. What would I like to do? I would like to divide both sides by 4. There we go. That is the video. Stay tuned for the next exciting video. Have a good day. Bye.